if there is any true statement at all, it would probably be that cats like boxes. Just the other day, Rex found Kitty playing with one of these boxes and instantly came up with the most obvious idea. Let's have some fun with boxes and learn about truth tables. Let's first see an example truth table in order to understand the idea. The aim is to look at all possible combinations of truth values for different propositions. This can look as follows. In this example, there are two atomic statements, statement 1 and statement 2, as well as a proposition consisting of some logical combination of the two statements. This blue area is reserved for all possible true and false combinations of the atomic statements. The orange area is reserved for the truth value resulting from the truth values of the atomic statements. For two atomic statements, there will be four cases. Let's look at some basic propositions with the help of Rex and Kitty. Suppose the statement A, Kitty is in a box. The negation of this statement is not A, Kitty is not in the box. The truth table for negation consists of the atomic statement A and the proposition not A. As we see in the picture below, Kitty is in the box, so A is true. Naturally, if Kitty is in the box, the statement that Kitty is not in the box must be false. Now, if Kitty leaves the box, the statement Kitty is not in the box becomes true. And the statement that Kitty is in the box must be false now. Let's look at the truth table for an AND statement, also known as a conjunction. With reference to the picture below, we have the two atomic statements A, Kitty is in the box, and B, Rex is in the box, and the proposition that both Rex and Kitty are in the box. There are now four distinct cases for combinations of truth values of the atomic statements, and therefore the truth table must have four rows. As we see in the picture below, both Rex and Kitty are in the box, therefore statement A and B are both true. Since both Kitty and Rex are in the box, the conjunction of the two atomic statements is also true. If Rex now leaves the box, statement A remains true, while statement B becomes false, since Rex is no longer in the box, the compound proposition that Kitty and Rex are in the box becomes false. Now consider the case where only Rex is playing inside the box. Statement A becomes false and statement B becomes true again. Just as in the last case, because one of the two is missing from the box and therefore one statement is false, the conjunction of A and B must be false. The last case is covered if Rex leaves the box as well. This time, both Rex and Kitty are missing, hence both statements A and B are false. Since both statements A and B are false, the combined proposition is also false. Let's look at the truth table for an OR statement, also known as a disjunction. We have the two atomic statements A, Kitty is in the box, and B, Rex is in the box, and the compound proposition that Rex or Kitty is in the box. There are again four distinct cases. As we see in the picture below, both Rex and Kitty are in the box. Therefore, statement A and B are both true. Since both Kitty and Rex are in the box, the disjunction of the two atomic statements is also true. In the case where Rex leaves the box, statement A remains true, while statement B becomes false. Since Kitty is still in the box, the compound proposition that Kitty or Rex is in the box remains true. The same applies to the case where only Rex is playing inside the box. Statement A is false and statement B is true. So the disjunction is also true. Finally, if Rex leaves the box as well, both statements A and B are false, and therefore the combined proposition is also false. Before we look at the more complex compound proposition, 
please consider liking our content or subscribing to our channel. We are especially thankful for comments and shares. Every little bit of support truly makes a difference. Thank you very much. Now, on to a more dry example. This one really is a little complex. If there are any questions, please do not hesitate to ask them in the comments. The compound proposition we want to investigate now is A or B and not C. This time we have three atomic statements, A, B and C. Therefore we need a more elaborate truth table in order to cover all possible cases. Here we included the columns containing the negation, not C, and the disjunction A or B to make it a little easier. In the first case, all atomic statements are true and since C is true, not C is false. As we learned before, the disjunction of A and B is true since both the individual statements are true. However, since not C is false, the compound proposition A or B and not C must also be false. Next, it is possible for both A and B to be true and C to be false. This time not C is true since C is false. Just as before, A or B remains true. This time, because the disjunction A or B is true and the negation not C is true, the proposition A or B and not C is also true. When A and C are true and B is false, then not C is false and A or B is true. So our compound proposition is false. The same reasoning applies for the next line, except that the truth values of A and B are swapped. Now consider the case where A is true and both B and C are false. The disjunction A or B is true, and since not C is also true, the overall proposition is true. Again, the same reasoning applies for the next line, except that again the truth values of A and B are swapped. When A and B are false and only C is true, the disjunction A or B and the negation of C are both false. Hence, the overall proposition is false. And now, last but not least, let's consider the case where all three statements, A, B and C, are false. By the same argument as in the previous case, the disjunction A or B is false, again resulting in the overall proposition being false. Whew, that was quite a marathon. If you managed to watch until now, please consider leaving us a like and subscribing to our channel. Thanks for watching and have a nice day!